fan. About to head out for that easy run I mentioned in my video yesterday. Check out my unboxing video, the new Nike Alpha Fly. A link to that video will be posted at the end of this video. First impressions, just putting them on. They are a little bit more difficult to put on than your 4% and your OG next percents. The Adam knit feels very tight knit. It's not a bad thing per se. It feels like it locks down on your foot a lot better. So you kind of have to do like a dual action. I guess that's why there's two loops here. To put your finger in here and finger in here and be able to pull and just kind of like wiggle your foot in. As you can see it is pretty, pretty tight knit. Another thing before even I stand up with these on, there is a lot more room in the toe box. Some forums online say that uh, people go down half a size. I wouldn't disagree with them, but most of the shoes I've worn, especially Nikes, have been always true to size. So I kind of just stick with that. I'm not really worried. For the most part, at least right now, they feel all right. I know an issue with the Vaporfly next percents uh, and sometimes the four percents, the shoelaces would come untied even when I would double or triple knot them. So I'll let you guys know if these laces have that issue. It looks like they may have fixed that because they added uh, ridging right to the laces. So less likely for it to untie itself while you're racing. Very responsive, hopping around on them. I do feel a negative heel to toe offset. It does feel like more height is put into the forefoot than the back of the foot. And it's kind of like that with spikes as well. Definitely feel a good roll uh, stepping up on my toes. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna take you guys out on a 30 minute easy run. I'll let you know how they feel and I'm gonna do some strides after as well. I'll get some footage of that and catch you guys out there. couple minutes in so far I feel that the shoe is extremely responsive and resilient I do feel the energy return and I do feel that when I run faster the energy return will be greater also according to the Nike website the uh, carbon fiber plate that are in these shoes is different than the ones that were in the next percent in the sense that the larger the shoe size gets the more stiff the carbon fiber plate is in the shoe and the smaller the shoe is, the more flexible the carbon fiber plate is. I definitely feel way more weight in the forefoot compared to the Vaporfly uh, Next Percents. Downhill coming up, so I'll let you guys know how these shoes fare going downhill. When I run downhill, everything feels like it shifts to the forefoot, which is good. Energy return feels great. Now I'm going up a slight uphill. Probably if I was going faster, I wouldn't feel it as much but I do feel the uh, offset between the forefoot being feeling like it's slightly bigger compared to the uh, back of the heel. Kind of like your foot's on a slant, but you remember the same thing is for track spikes and whatnot. They do it to create stiffness in the forefoot to have better leverage. In terms of comfort, I would say that these are actually more comfortable than your OGs. Um, they even fly next percent, so I'm trying not to hit by a car. My Achilles feels happy, so that's a good sign. Transition while running, you know, from heel to toe, feels pretty efficient. I feel like I'm rolling effortlessly, and I would say the feel is better than the Vapor Fine X percent. Keep in mind, this impression's all at easy pace, so it may be different when I'm running faster and probably better. I would definitely say the added Zoom X foam definitely helps, and it feels like it helps with shock absorption. I can understand why in long races like a half and full marathon, you would feel less fatigue and probably be less sore if you wear these for a workout or after races. Definitely feel more padding on the bottom of the foot compared to the OG Vaporfly next percent. I'm probably going around 7.30 per mile pace, taking it easy. In the past, the 4% and the next percents, people say it alters their stride a little bit. At this pace right now, I do not feel a change in my stride. It may be different when I run fast. Now it's time for some strides.
Alright guys, finished the strides. I would say that they did feel a lot more responsive doing the strides than running slow. But I would also say that they don't feel as aggressive as uh, the OG Baker flies um, when running really fast. Um, so for me, I probably wear this shoe 5K enough and then maybe like two mile to 5K, I'd wear the Vapor Flies and then anything under, I'd probably wear a track spike like the Mamba 5s and the Matumbos, the Victories. So yeah, cool thing too is that my shoes did not come untied after that run, unlike the higher models had that issue. So great job. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell for when I post my next video. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.